Welcome, in front of me is a Realme C25Y and today I'll show you how to record the screen on this phone. And to get started you want to pull down your notification panel, expand it, and this will show you this little pencil icon right here, you want to tap on it. And right below here you'll see all the toggles that are actually turned off. So as you can see one of those toggles is screen recorder. You want to grab it by holding it and then drag it over to the top, let it go and it will stay up in those toggles now. So let's go back and if we flip to the second page, you can see that our screen recorder is now accessible right here. So from here, all you need to do is simply tap on it. This will give you the limited amount of options that you have right here. So we can choose uh, what sound will be recorded. That can be microphone, device, audio, or both. Uh, though, if you're planning to use the last option, both, I do highly recommend you to use headphones. That can be wired headphones or wireless, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but the reason I do recommend you to do so is because the device audio will be recorded internally. It's not being recorded uh, through microphones. So I believe you could have it, or my microphone, through a speaker. So you might have it, your device completely muted, but the device will still record the uh, device audio that is, uh, for, instance, for instance, from like a game. But obviously, if you're listening to it and you have the microphone as well, the microphone will be listening to you and it will also be picking up whatever the, uh, the sound is coming from a speaker, creating this unwanted echo effect. So that's why I recommend you to use headphones. Anyway, I'm going back here. We have also a option for showing touch, uh, touch gestures or just touches on screen. Meaning that when enabled, whenever you flip through pages, swipe or do anything like that, uh, that will be visible on the recording. Now for gameplays, I probably wouldn't recommend using that, uh, but for something like, as an example, I would be doing um, like a guide and only recording a screen, that would be probably fairly optimal because you would be seeing where I'm actually pressing my finger on the screen. So I'm gonna start recording right now by clicking on start. It starts a countdown right here and then starts recording. So whatever I'll do right now will be recorded. Uh, additionally, any kind of apps I open will also be recorded. So as you can see, I can open up things like files and this will be recorded. You can see that tiny uh, semi-transparent gray dot following my finger. That is what I was talking about, the, uh, the touches on, on screen. Once you're done with your recording, you can pull down your notification panel, tap right here to stop it or stop the recording. And this will automatically save it to your photo gallery. So let's open it up and we can not this. There we go. You can tap on our recording and this will automatically start, start playing it. And you can see my finger on the screen. Although on a white background it's not very visible, but obviously you can see everything was recorded along with my swipes. There we go, you can see that white dot. So anyway, that is how you record your screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.